In this tutorial, we're looking at the Always Find tab of Perfectit Style Sheet Editor. To see it, select the style that you're working with, then click Edit Current Style. The Always Find tab is the one that's open at the start. In the Always Find tab, each line represents a single change that Perfectit will always look for and suggest a replacement. There are four columns in the tab, Test Name, Find, Preferred, and Style Notes. If you click on an item, you'll see that Perfectit's interface guides how you work. For example, clicking the line for acknowledgement with and without the E. Looking at the top, you'll see the interface says, when Perfectit is running the test for spelling variations, it should warn if it finds the phrase acknowledgement with the E. If it finds the phrase, it should suggest acknowledgement without the E. To start adding our own terms, Let's look for an example in hyphenation. First, select the hyphenation test that you want. Use the test called hyphenation of phrases if the alternative is open. Use the test for hyphenation of words if the alternative to hyphenation is closed. Here we'll choose hyphenation of words. We're going to add a new item. So let's quickly delete these entries. And then let's add the term cooperation. We have it look for cooperation with the hyphen and if it finds that, it should suggest the phrase cooperation without the hyphen. Then let's choose to add that. The same exact principle works for Perfectit's two tests of n dashes, looking at n dashes compared to hyphens and n dashes compared to space. But before we move on, we haven't made any mention of the style notes column yet. That's because it's optional. However, it's a useful feature, especially for a test like this. The style notes give a prompt to the user so it's a good place to put important exceptions that you want users to look out for or consider in context. To add a style note, simply type it. In this case, we could add a note like, unless used in a direct quote. Moving on, the test of accents works in a similar way. Let's say we always prefer cafe with the accent at the end. So going through, we instruct perfect it to look for cafe without the accent and then to add it with. However, Perfectit won't accept the keyboard combinations that you use in Word to insert an accent. So you need to either go back to your document and copy and paste an accent, or you can skip across to the wildcards tab. We're going to look at the wildcards tab in a future tutorial. For now though, let's just take an acute accent figure and copy that so that we can paste it in here. Then we add that in the same way we did for hyphens. The test of phrases in capitals is also similar. However, there's no search term required. As you can see, the box here is grayed out. That's because this test will look for the replacement term in any way that is not the same as your capitalization preference. So for example, let's add the term internet in lowercase. Now when it runs the test of phrases in capitals, Perfectit will look for every instance of internet that is not entirely in lowercase, and then it will prompt for the replacement. Again, click Add to add that to the Starsheet Editor. This system of having one line for each find and replace combination makes it sound like building a Perfectit Starsheet is an impossibly large task. However, it's not. You can build the Starsheet slowly, with just a minute or two invested each day. Focus on the mistakes that happen most often in your organization, and before long, you'll end up with a powerful sheet that saves time for you and everyone else that you work with. There are lots more tests within the Always Find tab, and we'll cover more of those in the next two video tutorials.